Hey, what's up there, guys? This is Kristen from Nifty Knowledge Rocks, and uh, I'm rocking my uh, Blue Yeti mic today, so trying that out. Um, hey there, yeah, I have a, a video. I, I wanted to put together this video to talk a little bit via video about sales tax and some of the things that you should be thinking about when it comes to, you know, sales tax and your photography business. And this video is geared towards people who are really just starting out with their business, but you know, some other folks who've been in business for a few years might find it helpful as well. And what I wanted to relay to you today, which I've written some articles about and I cover it in my sales tax guides, but just the importance of knowing that the service of photography is taxable sometimes. Now, it's gonna vary state to state. So this is one thing to keep in mind is that sales tax laws will be different between one state and the next. And also you can have a situation where the laws are different even on the local level. So in a county or a city, Colorado is really famous for that. Various local cities, which are self-administered for their sales tax, have different have laws that, that vary from the state laws in Colorado. So keep in mind that the law is not gonna be the same everywhere and things will not be subject to sales tax the same way in every single state. But this video is to get on your radar and to discuss the issue that services, photography services, can be taxable. And people say, whoa, what's that? Services aren't taxable most of the time. And okay, that's not true. There are services that are taxable in various states. Um, South Dakota is a big state that char that that taxes a lot of services. But here's what you have to think about. Uh, in event and wedding photography especially, why is the client hiring you? They're hiring you because they want photographs. They want something tangible. At the end of the day, after you've taken you know eight hours of, of photos for their wedding, they want an album. They want something tangible. So the way a lot of states look at this when it comes down to their individual state law is they say, hey, the photography, photography services are so closely connected to that final tangible product, the wedding album, that those underlying services are subject to sales tax. So what does that mean? So you'll find a lot of photographers that let's say they charge uh, $2,500 to go shoot a wedding for eight hours, and then they charge the client $500 for a flash drive or a disc of the images from the day. And what they'll think is, hey, well only $500 is subject to sales tax because that's a disc, that's that's the hard, tangible thing that my clients are getting in the end. So that's subject to sales tax. But the services, the $2,500, that's not subject to sales tax, no way. Uh, wrong. In many states, what you'll find is that that whole $3,000 is subject to sales tax for the very reason I just explained. Those services are so closely connected to that final product that the state says, hey, this whole $3,000 is subject to sales tax. So just wanna put that out there, something to think about if you're just starting your photography business and really an area that, you know, photographers sometimes overlook. So I don't want you guys to get screwed when you're you know, in business one, two, three years down the road and the state comes to you and audits you and says, oh, you haven't collected sales tax on like, you know, hundred thousand dollars worth worth of your photography services and you're like what because when that happens you can try to go back to your client and say hey i forgot to collect sales tax from you but when it comes down to it that client doesn't have to pay you you're ultimately responsible so it's coming out of your pocket and not only is the amount of sales tax liability that you haven't paid coming out of your pocket but it's also going to be penalty interest any other fees so it could be a lot of money all right I hope this is helpful. This is Kristen with NiftyKnowledgeRocks.com. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Come back. Check out more videos on the website. Hopefully this is helping you out. Take care.